Hey YouTube, I thought I would make a video while I'm prepping some foods. Basically, I'm just gonna cut up some uh, green peppers and onions, and then I'm gonna put them in the freezer. We love to do that with almost anything and everything. Cut it, put it in the freezer. It, it just saves so much time when you're meal prepping, and it just really helps when you're like, what do I need to add to this meal? And then we just throw a little sprinkle of onion in there, you know? So today I'm gonna really show you some tricks and techniques. My husband cut it differently, so yeah, I'm gonna finish, my goodness. Yeah, he made, he made that mess, okay. So what I like to do, sorry, there's a change. What I like to do is I like to, hold on, let me try this. While we're on pause, I'm gonna also clean this because he left the sticker on. I really hope he washed it. Such a dude thing to. Okay, I'm gonna try to fix his as well. So we'll get there. Anyways. I like to just cut in there. Oh, I'm also using a knife about this size. Uh, so I'm gonna try to like, gosh, this is a smaller knife than what I maybe sometimes use. Uh, I'm gonna try, there's already some seeds, but it's just best to do your best. I like to work my way, like, going around. And then I like to cut it. Um, this one, I obviously still got some of that seed in there, but it's easy to just pull out and then, you know, rinse it out. You want to get the seeds out so I'm even looking at you. It's so rude. And then same thing, I'm trying to just, like, cut the top out. Yeah, and then you can just pull, they call it like the pepper meat, is that white stuff, and that's what you pull out. The meatiness of the vegetable. And I still like to rinse it out because there's like a seed or two that gets caught every time. Um, yeah, I'm not saving. Same thing with his, I'm gonna try. You, sometimes I can get it real good. Let me just check on that little one real quick. Oops, just same thing, just clean up the meat and the pepper. Okay, now I'm just gonna go rinse these. You want a clean shirt? No, I have a dinosaur. You went dinosaur? Yeah. I don't know where dinosaur went, baby girl. So there's enough, definitely so many ways you can cut, um, but for meal prepping, we really like to dice it. I like to start with, and sometimes when you're making like fajitas, it's really nice to have these strips. You're always tucking in your knuckles and your fingers as best as you can. Sometimes I'm able to get this a lot flatter too, um, so that I don't have to like worry about all these weird shapes, but this time I just didn't cut it the way I usually do, I think. That's okay. I'm just dicing it. I'm literally, I take a couple. It's okay if the slices are a little different. Then you see like the butt piece and just throw it away. Like that cool. Some people might eat it, I don't know. You have kids that are picky. Just break it all up, make sure it's all broken up. Yeah, and then I like to grab three, like I say, pinch your knuckles in. My knife skills aren't perfect, but they're good for beginners, I'd hope. And then, yeah, we'll just. Then I got these nice bags and a dates on them and you can label it if you'd like, but we go through this so fast that there's no point in labeling it. Like it does not even last six months in the freezer for us. Oh, 
like they say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. So if you find there's an easier way to cut a pepper, go ahead. Some people like those slicing tools, but I've seen just so much danger in that. Like just so much easier to just use my knife skills. Just come on, you know? Booty, 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 booty. Okay, no awards are going to be given here today, but at least I can cut a pepper on, like, the Kardashians. Kendall. Okay. We got one more. And then I'll show you how to cut an onion, which I think I've probably already done by now, but that's okay. It's always nice to learn how to cut. For beginners, I'm hoping this video is for someone who maybe has never cut vegetables. Ah, I'll sweep, it's okay. I didn't mean to like fling that. Yeah, see, I like to press it down. See, it's a lot flatter. That one was like harder. Then I just like to take a couple. Uh, you can do sawing, motion, chopping. Probably need to get a knife sharpener for myself. Oh, I don't know if that, yeah, I did go over like those, um, choppers. I always wanted one so bad just to like make meal prep so much easier. And I'm sure it is convenient to just kind of chop and go, but I've seen like really cheap ones and they break and I'm just not about to spend like $25 for something to break. And then just think it's a whole other thing to clean. So the onion, there is the butt, and then, I don't know, the front, whatever you want to call it, okay? I like to cut the front off. You like to keep this all intact because it's going to hold your onion together. And then, yeah, I just try to cut as least as I can, but at least go all the way down. And then at this time, some of your peel might come off, so you can just toss it. Um, but it doesn't all come off, it's okay. So then I like to set it on that flat side. It's a trick for any of cutting. And then cut this directly in half. And now you have two, and then you're gonna flip them like this. But you wanna take that peel off. So I'm gonna do that right now. See, all the way down to that last layer, keeping that butt as much as you can intact because like I said, that's really gonna hold your onion together when you're cutting it and when you're dicing it, it's gonna make it so much easier. I've also heard that it like, I don't know if any of that's true, the whole onion thing to help reduce your crying. Honestly, the best way for me is doing it this way, get it done fast and then I'm over with it, you know? So then I like to just cut slices but not all the way through the, the butt end. So you're kind of like leaving yourself space, if that makes sense. Ah, see that butt came on here. Okay. Then I like to hold it together. Make sure your knife is sharp, be careful. I moved my thumb when I was cutting down at that one back part. Doing the exact same thing on the other side. Okay, now you cut that flat piece that we had sitting down. So you cut the opposite end of the butt and you're just cutting all the way across, all the way across your onion because then it's creating little diced See? So then when that literally, that breaks apart, it's so small. 
Love it. It's great for cooking. That's the best way to dice your onion. And then I like to cut it all the way down to the butt as best you can. And like I've said in maybe another video before, you can use that for stock. Now I'm about to cry. And usually I don't cry when I'm putting my onions, but I'm getting like down here for you guys, okay? Crying to show you how to cut an onion. But usually I'm up here and like, guys make me tear up a little bit. Okay. trying to get it into my cutting board into my bag I've also seen those like things that hold your bags and people say oh it's not convenient it is so convenient if you like sorry I'm all the onion juice again if you're like a single person and you have no one to ask to hey hold this bag especially when you're doing like liquids so if you're ever like meal prepping soup or something it is worth it to invest. I've seen the like green clips, they're expandable. They flatten so you can store them in a drawer. They're so nice. I don't have one. My mom had one and I loved it. So yeah, actually um, I might show you some sped up versions. But yeah, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Prop my onions, put them away in the freezer. I'm gonna do an outro for you guys. So yeah, here is my cut up onion. And I like to squeeze out all the air. That's a lot of onion. And I also kind of might wanna flatten it out. It's super nice because sometimes these don't stick in the fridge. So then I can literally, in the freezer I mean, and I can literally just pull off and sprinkle on some frozen onion. And there's our peppers as well. So I really hope that this helped teach you guys how to cut an onion or a pepper or just entertainment. Thanks. Bye guys.